downtown Memphis, Kwame True Wilborn, WREG News Channel 3. Mallory is due in court on Friday. In the meantime, MATA has issued a statement saying in part that MATA safety is a top priority. We remain committed to ensuring the safety and security of our customers and employees. <laughs> After the woman is thanking people who came to her rescue during a brutal beating. That unprovoked attack happened last Friday in broad daylight. And tonight, we're hearing from the victim and the two men who he says saved her life. She was attacked just a few blocks off Tampa Bayshore Boulevard along Watchers Avenue in Tampa Hotel Hyde Park neighborhood. Here's Channel East Jeff Patterson joining us live with this story tonight. Jeff, this is a very common area for walking up in this area. Uh oh, Jug. <laughs> Jug, hi, it's what? It's kind of low. Oh, low. my bad. My bad. Um, my bad. Um, Thank you, people who came to her rescue during a brutal beating. That unprovoked attack happened last Friday in broad daylight. And yeah. We're hearing yeah. from you and the two men who she says saved her life. She was attacked just a few blocks off Tampa's Bayshore Boulevard along Watrous Avenue in Tampa's upscale Hyde Park neighborhood. Here's Channel East Jeff Patterson joining us live with this story tonight. Jeff, this is a very common area for walkers. I've been in this area myself many, many times. I'm looking at people doing just that very thing at this very moment. Keith. This is the kind of neighborhood where you think you could walk safely at any time. But that certainly wasn't the case last Friday. Just after the walk. As she walked through this Hyde Park neighborhood, Taylor, the victim, First God. Dang. Hey. Hey. What the boys they put them paws on that bitch, man? Yo, but did you but did you die though? But did you die though? <laughs> Yo, she looked like she was bad too, man. She was a bad like the yeah, domestic yeah. violence. Yeah. <laughs> she got her ass whooped, man. God dog. Man. Hyde Park neighborhood. Taylor, the victim first noticed a woman in a car pointing behind her and yelling for her to run. She turned to see a man chasing her. I said, you know, no, no. And he just laughed and all of a sudden I took off running and he took off after me and I screamed, screamed as loud as I could, help. But the man didn't. If she would have had some goddamn mace or some pepper spray, <laughs> man. I tell you, man, you don't need a gun. Every, everybody talks about guns. A lot of the shit you're going to encounter is not going to be necessarily need a gun for. Well, yeah, and then like when you hear somebody with mace, it stuns them. Like you can't just recover from that shit that quick. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's kind of like when you get your bell rung in a fight. You're not in that <laughs> fight for a good little minute. Yeah. You just kind of trying to hold on. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when you get hit in the face with that shit, you can't shoot nobody. You can't. You you covering your face. You ah, you know. Yeah, see, see, I, I, I'm more of a gun guy. I'm more of a say I won't shoot you, motherfucker, kind of guy, you know? No, say, I, I got that. But here's the thing, though most women are not going to carry a pistol. The majority of women don't do that. It's just not in their nature, man. Yeah. Get yeah. them to carry mace. <laughs> yeah. I was actually talking to my girl about that, about getting her a gun, and she wasn't really having it, you know? Nah, get her yeah. that mace, bro. I, th I think I'm gonna get her mace though. I think that's a good idea. Oh, to be honest. But I would say, don't ever, don't ever pull your strap and say no stupid shit like say I won't shoot you. Because if, if you see my gun, you better duck. If, 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 <laughs> I swear to God, yeah, yeah, if it's like that, I promise you. But, 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 no, but that's one of those things where you don't even gotta say it. You just gotta, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like body, body language speaks yeah. more than you know actual words, bro. No, like, I, I, the I, motherfucker will know. What's going? What's really going on? You know? Oh, they know. They yeah, out. man. If she would have had some mace, though, she'd have been. She would. I'm telling you, man. She would have been all right, man. This is this is another case, man. As loud as I could, help. But the man didn't stop. He attacked her. He was just coming at me, laughing, and he ended up grabbing my ponytail and threw me down and started punching me. Um, and he punched me repeatedly and was, was laughing. At that moment. Tampa attorney Charles McKeon and his son saw what was going on. I mean, just wailing on her. McKeon carries a concealed weapon. He pulled his gun and yelled at the attacker to stop. The attacker turned on McKeon. He came at me and he hit me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
See, this is all that pulling your shit and not doing shit, man. I, you got to lay motherfuckers down, man. Like, this is the sun, man. I, I think this confirms that it was the sun. Yeah, man. he was he was scared of the big old nigga, too. He was probably like, oh, my he God. He didn't want to shoot him. No, the fact that he didn't want to shoot him <laughs> confirms yeah, that. That's why, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. now, he glided, man. He glided right. fucking 20 times before you shoot a sun, man, man. Uh, but, but, but let's be fair to this guy, right? We know what comes next if he shoots him. We know yeah, what comes next. Exactly. He won't be an attorney no more. <laughs> no, he ain't practicing right. in that town no more. That's right. Sure. Like Don Lemon will speak on it if he still had that job, you know? Yeah. Uh, his, his, your life is turned upside down. It don't matter what he was doing. He, he gonna they gonna find something they gonna they gonna reshape the narrative about him. He gonna be fucking a great guy, <laughs> and you went up and fucking shot him for no reason. You could have used right. something else. You could have done this. Yeah. You could have done that. Right. Well, well, look at the bear trap. Why did you shoot him? You know. Right. Look at the umbrito in that taqueria. Remember him? Yeah. Exactly. I I think he might have got. I haven't heard nothing else about that, but. I might have to follow up on that to see what, what what was the verdict on that, but I think he got away with it. Um, mm. But yeah, he's a POC. This is a wide man. Yeah, this is a wide boy. <laughs> 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 you so glad it? Yeah. No it's true glad. He carries a concealed weapon. He pulled his gun and yelled at the attacker to stop. The attacker turned on McKeon. He came at me, and he hit me in the head. I fell backwards, hit the back of my head on the sidewalk, and things got a little blurry at that point. Thankfully, his son stepped in. I saw him strike my dad, and then um, I saw my dad on the ground, and he looked pretty disjointed and just out of it. The attacker ran, and police arrested Esha Nadopa, charging him. That's, that's a Patel? That's a Patel, man. I don't know. That's, that's Middle East. I don't know. They look Jesus ish. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a lot. Of hair, but the hair gray, that ain't yeah. no man. I ain't no look no, like that. that. That's what that, but tell on the board, but kind of, I guess. Yeah, kind of on the board. Uh, no, one of them I'm others saying. in that region, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they all Patels, man. Pakistan and India, oh, the same yes. country, you know. Right, that, for, right? for all intents and purposes. Yeah, all of them, Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, they was all the same country until um they broke up. Yeah. They the same people, man. This is, this is, he one of them. He one of them. With aggravated battery with great bodily harm. After she recovered a bit, the victim reached out to McKeon to thank him. The two of them really did save me. And that did you Did you thank him or did you thank him? <laughs> If you love it, tell me you love it. Don't stay at me, man. <laughs> See, so, man. Yeah. Hey, man. It looked like she didn't block not none of them punches. Like she was just taking straight shots, bro. Like she didn't turn her head or nothing. Like, God. Yeah. Damn. It, it really, man, that's a shame. Bro, that's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, man. Um, I don't know why this. They saying this. This is low. I got the volume all the way up, man. I don't know how how much. Yeah, I can't control the volume on this video though. But really did save me. And that touched McKeon. It really touched my heart, and I just feel so bad for her. That's I just awesome. wish we could have been there sooner. But he says this is a cautionary story for us all. She was minding her own business, out for a jog in broad daylight when she was attacked for no reason. So this could happen to anyone. So people just need to be diligent in making sure of their surrounding. You had a gun and you ended up with your breath. How does that happen, bro? You cannot run at me and knock me down and I'm strapped. Yeah. That's just impossible. Right. Right. <laughs> impossible. Shoot this man in the foot, man. If you shoot him in the foot, man, because if you shoot him in the leg, it's that artery. You might hit that artery, but, but don't yeah. shoot him. Shoot him in the foot, man. Nah, I'm, something. I'm, I'm just let off a round, even if you miss. Fuck it. I probably should have scared his ass or something. You know what I mean? Because in real time, he thought this was a sun man. Yeah, he probably, if he had known this was a Patel, he probably have shot him right when we got that little red dot right when he got the aim for the red dot. He like he, he was trying to, oh! he was trying to calculate. <laughs> the, 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 the possibility of it being a sun man or a Patel. 
Yeah. yeah. He would yeah. aim for that red dot and blew his fucking head out, man. But oh, he, he would have been a hero. hero. He would have He would have been a hero for real. It might be a son, though. I don't know. He, he got the next thing you know, boom. He but you know he know about this shit. He practiced law. He's like, listen, I've sued on behalf of these sons before. <laughs> yeah, facts. Like, he yeah, probably he... woke. Yeah, he probably is woke. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Wiggity yeah. woke. Look at this boy. That ain't, that's... <laughs> oh, yeah. He did. <laughs> yeah. He... In making sure of their surroundings. The attacker that has been charged in this case, Essa Nadopa, is six feet tall, 180 pounds. I just spoke to another witness who saw all of this go down. He says the attacker was a really big man. And thankfully, Mr. McKeon and his son were there at the right time doing the right thing. Keith? Well, we, we've seen the victim here. I mean, it looks like she's got some uh, bruising and so forth. How is she doing right now? And does... Does she reflect on this and think, uh, why her? Why why did he come after her when, when she thinks about it? Yeah, yeah, no question about it, Keith. Uh, she has a concussion. Uh, she has a broken nose. As you saw, she has some bruising around the face. But the most difficult thing for her, she says, is that she likes to walk as kind of a release, as do many of us, just kind of walk in a peaceful area. And it might take her a while to get back for that. Uh, as to why this attacker chose her, that's one of the most frightening things. There's no known motive, no reason for this attack, no ties. Uh, Tampa police say the, the attacker has no known ties to the Tampa area, and they list him as homeless. All right, thank you, Jeff. Got to watch your back and uh, watch your neighbor's back, too. All right. First breaking news in Richton Park, where a teacher found a young girl with a gun. CBS 2's Jermont Terry live now at Neil Armstrong Elementary. Jermont. Joe and Erica, the 10 year old was apparently showing that weapon to students. Now, the fourth graders Bruh. classmates quickly Bruh. alerted the teacher and yeah. that teacher confronted the girl who and safely got Neil Armstrong <laughs> Elementary. Bruh, bruh. All oh, this is just, this is just. Uh, t so now 10 year old son gal is coming to school strapped. Right. What do you, what do you say? Like the the female or the species is doing.